Creating something that matters is a really hard thing to do. And after 15 years of making jeans, I can tell you that firsthand. I made my first pair in college on a sewing machine I found at a thrift shop. Within just a year and a half, I'd end up with a waiting list of 400 people. For the first time in my life, I felt like I found my purpose. There was only one problem. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Over the next few years, I taught myself how to sew through trial and error, outgrowing my parents' basement to open my own store. I would begin producing and selling jeans all over the world, regularly traveling to London to collaborate with an international brand. My story was being featured in the press. My jeans were being worn by celebrities and musicians. And after a decade of saving, I was able to buy all the machines and fabric I had been dreaming of, all without taking on debt of any kind. And just like that, I felt a shift within me, like a clam under constant pressure produces a pearl. I knew it was time to take my art to the next level. The volume I had been producing was a means to buy the tools, but now that I had everything I needed, I was free. Free to go back to the beginning, to slow everything down, to focus more on each pair, to turn denim into art, with as much detail as possible for each customer. I decided to close my store, moving all my tools and fabric to my basement. Back to how I started. This time with the world's best resources at my fingertips. So here I am today, growing a brand I couldn't be more proud of, telling a bigger story, one pair at a time. As a human, we constantly struggle to find our purpose. Navigating the ups and downs of life is not easy for anyone. You want to give up more times than you can count. But the ones who went before us, whose work now fills museums, tells a story of beauty that inspires for generations. I hope that one day, the jeans I've made will do exactly that.